Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about five beauty brands that I think are underrated. So I think these brands all deserve a little bit more hype than they are getting in the beauty community because these brands all have great products and not enough people are talking about them. So I thought I would make this video to let you know which brands I really enjoy that I think deserve a little bit more credit than they are now. If you're wondering what's on my lips, I decided to try this Catrice uh, Pure Pigment Lip Lacquer again, just to see if I like it a little bit better than the first time I tried it. It's still a little bit patchy, and I hope this doesn't get all over my teeth while I'm fi filming this video. So, um, yeah, uh, I hope uh, it's not too distracting. I just thought I would give it a go and wear a blue lip because I thought I would do something a bit more fun. So the first brand I'd like to talk to you about is The Body Shop. And The Body Shop is a brand that I think everybody knows for their body care products. People, like I personally swear by their sh shower gels and body butters. That's pretty much all I use. Um, but uh, I think that everybody knows that. But one thing that I think The Body Shop is very much underrated for is their skincare. Now I rave about what The Body Shop skin skincare and I have been raving about their skincare ever since I've been blogging because I really, really li like their stuff. Um, it's actually the first skincare that I found that didn't break me out, that didn't cause irritations, but that did do something for my skin. Everything else that I had tried before it, whether it was cheaper or more expensive, I definitely felt that it didn't really do much, or if it did something, it would cause me to get an allergic reaction. That's usually how it went. So finding the Body Shop skincare was like life changing for me. I also like that it's not too expensive. They have more affordable and more expensive products in their line, and they have different lines for different skin needs. So I like that as well. There are a couple of products that I really, really love. I love the foaming cleanser from their Aloe Vera line, as well as the toner from that line. They are very gentle. gentle. They don't strip your skin at all. And actually the toner is also one that is recommended by certain dermatologists as well. So if you're looking for a toner that doesn't feel make your skin feel like it's like all pulling and tight, uh, then that's a great one I can highly recommend. Uh, some other products are the vitamin E serum and oil. Um, the reason why I'm not showing you these is that I don't have all of them on hand. <laughs> um, uh, the serum and oil is a great serum that I like. And I also really like the vitamin C microdermabrasion. That one is currently living in my shower. It's looking a little bit wet and gross. So uh, we'll be pulling that out. So yeah, the Body Shop skincare, I think needs a lot more hype and a lot of people, a lot more people uh, should actually look into it. So that's my first option. Option number two is H&M Beauty. H&M completely redid their beauty line, I think two or three years ago, ago now. And when it first launched, there was a little bit of hype about it, but then so many people were like talking about these products and like, oh, this is now my favorite bronzer. And then you never saw them using it again. It was really one of those like promo things. Um, but I'm a huge advocate, especially for their like blushes and their bronzers. Uh, one of my favorite bronzers is by H&M Beauty, as well as one of my all time favorite blushes. Uh, so yeah, I really, really like their products. And if you thought Fenty Beauty was the first brand to come out with like those hexagon shaped packaging think again because h&m was actually first their blushes uh come in that compact style so um it looks chic it's got some great products their single eyeshadows are also really good but it really depends like which shade you get whether you actually get the payoff but there are a couple of shades that are absolutely gorgeous as well as some of their liquid lipsticks. Those are really nice as well. So uh, of what I've tried from the H&M Beauty line, I have loved every single product and I just think it needs a little bit more hype. The third brand on my list is a Dutch brand. So it's going to be harder to get your hands on this, um, but I don't even hear Dutch people really rave about this line all that much. And I think that uh, the name brand Kruidvat Originals skincare line should be known by a lot more people because it is absolutely great. It is cheap and cheerful, but all of the products that I've tried from it do really work. I tried their rose water as a toner and I tried their almond facial oil and that was excellent. So if you find yourself in the Netherlands or if you are Dutch, uh, go to Kreitfeld, find their originals line 
and you will not be disappointed. They have a few items for every single like skin type as well. And I think everything is like under the five euro mark. The packaging is glass, which is great because it means you can recycle. If you clean it well, you can put other products in there. If you have to depot something because you're traveling or whatever, it comes in little glass jars and it is amazing. Their tea tree oil is one that I've used for years as like a spot treatment and it works very well and it's like less than two euros. So you can't do wrong for that. Now a brand that is also very affordable over here is Catrice and Catrice has definitely been expanding their territory. So it's a brand that you are finding in more and more places around the world and that is great. Catrice is a German brand in case you didn't know and it's a, a sister company to Essence. So that's great. Uh, usually if you find an Essence stand then you also have Catrice. So they are very closely connected you could say. I personally out of the two love Catrice better than Essence because Essence is a bit young and Essence is more hit and miss than Catrice for me. Now, I do have to say that Catrice also has it moments. Like Essence, over here, Catrice and Essence revamp their entire line every single six months. They take out old products and put in new ones, and that's where I think you find the hit or miss products. The ones that stay in the line for a few years in a row are usually the ones that are really good. <laughs> Their ultimate color lipsticks are great. They have a couple of foundations that are really good. Uh, they have a concealer, the liquid camouflage concealer, which is like holy grail. I used one up, I repurchased, it's great. Um, they have some really nice brow products as well that are great if you have blonde hair. Their little brow powder set is really great. Uh, they have some really great blushes, some good highlighters. I'm not a big fan of Catrice's bronzers, I have to say, but I could do a full face of Catrice's makeup and like the look that I get. Catrice is definitely a brand that more people need to get on board with because I absolutely love them. Now, the fifth brand that I would like to talk about is Kiko. And I think that Kiko is again one of those brands, since it's more like Europe based, is one that not a lot of people rave about. I think that if a brand is from Europe and if it's affordable, it doesn't get a lot of hype in the online beauty community because I uh, either people aren't trying it because they can't get their hands on it or because it just kind of like goes under the radar. I think that that's really why uh, none of these brands really get as much hype and Kiko is definitely one of them for me. Uh, Kiko is Italian and uh, they have their standalone stores and there are a couple of products that I really really enjoy. I just recently bought their Glow Fusion highlighter and I absolutely adore it. They also have these like three strips, they come in the same packaging as the highlighter, three strip blushes and the one that I have absolutely gorgeous as well. They do their like water eyeshadows, which are a very interesting texture. I believe you can use them wet or dry and they have all these nice little sparkles. Um, those work really well. I've never really tried a Kiko lipstick or like base products, but their color product products are really, really nice. And they usually do some really great deals too. Uh, so over here, uh, currently the last time I was in store, you were, if you bought two products, you got another two for free. Um, they do like 25% off discounts a lot and my absolute favorite product product that you can find at Kiko are their eyeshadow sticks. So if you really like a quick and easy eye or eyeshadow sticks in like a array of rainbow colors, then Kiko is the place to definitely check out because they do some awesome um, uh, eyeshadow sticks too. So there, those are a couple of brands that I think need a little bit more love, a little bit more TLC, please. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that this video can definitely start that. So we'll see. Uh, please leave a comment down below and let me know which brands you think are underrated here on YouTube. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I make new videos every single Thursday and Sunday. I hope to see you in my next video and I hope you have a really great day. Bye.